Hey guys, it's Head Under here today, and today we're going to be doing a different sort of video. We're going to be going through all the clone troopers that were cut from the movies and like full on scenes that were removed and like concept art that never made it into the movies. So let's get into it. First, we're going to start with the Clone Wars 2003 because this is the first series to introduce different types of clones and different legions unlike in Attack of the Clones where they only had the clone pilots and the different ranks. Um, so last year, Gendi Tartakovsky introduced or revealed a uh, concept art image. Um, it contained three different clones on it, two of which, which are kind of made into the movie and one which sticks out a lot, known as the Skywalker's Outriders. Uh, you can see here that they have like pink on their helmet and like these trench coats that look like bikers and they've got their own custom speeder bikes which looks pretty cool there isn't much else to go off of for and we didn't know what else they were going to do in the show but my guess is they're going to be reinforcements or what originally the lance troopers were going to be but as you can see here there's also the lance trooper concept art at the top right you can troopers they have like a cape on them um yeah it could have turned into those uh, mud jumper troopers. Um, and then on the left of the uh, Lancer clone, you can see a what looks to be an arc trooper with green markings and some different pieces of armor. Now moving on to Revenge of the Sith. These are all created by Alex Yeager. These were the initial um, concept art for the different variants that we would see across the galaxy. During the initial phase, only a few of these guys actually made it into the movie and the rest were made into toys, or appeared in other media, or, or didn't appear at all. The only one here that actually made it into the movie was the 501st Trooper, obviously. Um, but as you can see, he's got a bit different, di few differences here. Uh, he's got the eye on his chest, but you can see it matched onto his helmet. Also, on the back plate, instead of like how in the movie just it was just a blue square. There's also a blue triangle going down into that square. The other clones we see here is 91st Recon Corps Trooper. He didn't make it into the movie, but he did feature in the Clone Wars Season 4. You can see there's like a red bit like on the chest just before the shoulder, and there's like a bit of red above the helmet. You can see these in the Lego figures that released. Um, I don't think it showed up on the Hasbro Trooper, but it might have. I'll just show you if I got it wrong in the video. Then we have the seventh Legion Trooper that made it into a few comics and was released as a toy. They said as a Commander Faye, the seventh Legion, uh, and I believe Commander Aiden written uh, as well. They did appear in the Dark Times, but they were called the 203rd Division for some reason, but they are the seventh Legion. Then moving on, we have the 402nd 422nd Siege Battalion Trooper. It made it into as an action figure and as a Lego figure, but didn't feature in the movie, unfortunately. The armor pattern was most likely reused for the 212th. And the, the 422nd actually finally made their debut in actual media, apart from toys, in a canon comic in the Obi-Wan series in Phase 1 armor. And they took part in the Battle of Abradon Bridge and Hyapori. There's also a clone commander with them, which could possibly be Commander Verd, but it's not yet confirmed. Commander Verd has been mentioned to be the commander for the Bella Cato Nemordia, but there's no image or much more information on him. And we've got the Fifth Fleet Security. This never made it into the movie, but was also released as a Hasbro action figure. And they would like guard the Venators and service security force of them but there's no canon depiction of them as of yet. And then the trooper furthest on the right was released as an action figure by Hasbro and came to be known as the 38th Armour Division. And their first appearance in media was in uh, the Clone Wars 2008 comic run for the UK. Um, and they'd also be known to participate in the Battle of Kashyyyk, but there's no canon depiction of them yet. The first clone that never made it into any media or was never made into an action figure is known as Clone Type 3. It has very similar markings to Commander Cody on the chest plate and torso. It's similar leg paint job with a fin only being painted a, like 
It's a faded pink. It's pretty interesting. Um, he's supposed to get an action figure, but is apparently cancelled by Hasbro for unknown reasons. So this is the Utapau clone trooper. Honestly, I'm really glad this guy got cut from the movie because the 212th design is so much better. Um, he's just literally a clone lieutenant body with a regular phase two helmet. This guy appeared as an action figure in the tactics line of toys. And that's about it for this guy. So next up, we have a trooper specialization that never made it into the movie, the Lagoon Trooper. Now, this guy has no other art of him whatsoever. He was likely meant to be for a planet that would feature during the Order 66 segment, but that planet was obviously cut out and he never made it in. Fun fact, this guy is designed by the same guy who designed General Grievous. So this is what was supposed to be a Kashyyyk Trooper, and this definitely tells us that they uh, definitely changed around the ideas of where which clones would be on which planets. It's literally just a 91st Recon Trooper with blue markings instead. And this guy actually appeared in the Revenge of, Sith, Revenge of the Sith tie-in comic. On the topic of the tie-in comic for Revenge of the Sith, I just wanted to point out the small changes that were from the concept up that actually made it into the comic. So Cody still has his floodlights, which was what he had during uh, the Clone Wars season three. Bakara has this red stripe across his pauldron, which he does not in the movie, which is actually black. And the Galactic Marines are lacking their colors. One more thing before I wanted to t get into a juicy one. We have the concept art for the Airborne Trooper and Command Degree. Both of these were made made it into Battlefront 2 2005. The Airborne Trooper being turned into the Sharpshooter and Command Degree being turned into the Clone Jet Trooper. The Command Degree also got turned into a, uh, a Tactics Trooper as well with the original concept art for him. So now we're up to something big. An entire scene of this Clone Trooper was cut from the Revenge of the Sith and it almost made it in. Clone Sergeant Wack is a... ATST driver commander, which is listed on here, which would have, which is what they were originally calling the ATRTs at the time of development. He would have almost been completely stark white in contrast to the camouflage ATRT drivers we got in the movie. The scene as he was in was a more expanded scene of the ATRT drivers looking for Yoda in the original movie, but instead this scene would also feature Swamp Speeders, another Walker variant very similar to the Clone Walker Battle Pack that we got in uh, 2009. So they're looking for Yoda across, and they come across some dead bodies of Wookiees. And Yoda would be in disguise with mud all over him and sticks and stuff, so he wouldn't be as recognizable and pretend to be a creature that likes to eat Wookiee meat. He said, it's in the script, it says, Wookiee meat, good, yes. Something like that, I forgot. Anyway, um, the Wack is a bit confused by this and tells his men to go looking. And um, this is actually a distraction from Yoda so that um, Tafel and Chewbacca, who are playing dead, would rise up from the water and knock off Sergeant Wack from his ATRT. And they would use the, uh, ride, they would use the ATRT to ride and escape because it's a lot quicker. And Yoda would ride a cancel, which is those flying bugs. Special thanks to Nick Animations. He's made a few animations for this video to depict the cut scenes that were removed from Range of the Sith and the Clone Wars and other cut clone content. So enjoy the animation. <laughs> Eat, Wookie. <laughs> Did you find something? It's nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Nothing. All these Wookies are dead. Move to the east. Yes, sir. <laughs> right you are, Chewbacca. Faster than would be. Hello everyone, Imperial Knight here. 
Uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm the artist for all the icons that Headhunter used for his videos. Sorry to interrupt this video, but I have an announcement to make. If you guys didn't know, I am selling my icons. So if anyone has any interest in using these icons for their death count videos or any of that sort, feel free to let me know. I am also offering commissions. So if anyone has any trooper ideas as shown here, feel free to join the Discord and contact me there. Anyway, back to the video. Now it's time for the Clone Wars 2008. Now first I want to go through some alternate designs before I get into the cut material. So first off we got the original design for Jack. Now Jack was supposed to have a senatorial symbol above his helmet um, instead of having the red around his visor. Now here we've got the original designs for Rancor Battalion and um, many of these designs like the Revenge of the Sith designs made it into toy form so the toys are actually quite inaccurate compared to what they appeared as in the show as you can see um colt doesn't even have any designs on his helmet whatsoever and blitz's helmet is slightly changed and same as havoc next up we have the original design for trauma which is the guy who got killed by safajo press he was originally supposed to only have Phase 1 armor instead of the Aft Trooper armor, and he'd featured this decal on his shoulder. Then we have these Arc 170 pilots, which appear to be the Phase 1 version of Arc 170 pilots before they had the open face helmets. Um, these are a reuse of the model of the stealth pilot with different markings on them. And I'm pretty sure these are supposed to appear in the Battle of Lola Seiyu. You can see there it says episode 317, which is not the exact episode number, but I'm pretty sure the production number of the episode. So, yeah, we would have seen the, probably seen these in the Battle of Lola Seiyu, but we never got a view in the cockpit. So I thought this would be funny to include. Here's a bit of a alternate designs for Echo's destroyed helmet, and obviously they intended to kill him off because you can see... Uh, definitely on the right side, a lot more gruesome ones where his like whole mouth is coming apart, or his just skull, or his like bottom jaw is completely missing. So yeah, that's pretty dark. <laughs> Imagine if Five saw Echo's mouth just hanging out of his helmet. That would be pretty bad. So next we've got Commander Monk, who appeared in the Moncala Civil War arc in season four under Kit Fisto as a scuba trooper. They were, as you can see, they are tossing up between the designs of an eel or a seahorse, and obviously the seahorse won out in the end. So here we got a bunch of alternate designs for Gregor and his Foxtrot group, six of them to be precise. These could possibly be used for the rest of Foxtrot group, and here's an animation on how Gregor's squad was killed. It was one of the Republic's most devastating losses. Yes. Yes, I remember now. So many soldiers were dying. Bodies. Bodies everywhere. I knew I had to get help. But that's where the memory stops. Okay, so here now we have two clones that were supposed to appear in the... Battle of Geonosis arc in the season two of the Clone Wars. These two clones were called Chatter and Ham. And they were Spec Ops troopers that were, I think, a part of the 501st since they have blue markings and they are seen with them. They were in charge of radio comms and were meant to like establish connections so that everyone could communicate with each other. But they were cut because comm links are already built into clone troopers' armor, so that made them redundant. And they made these troopers because they wanted to like link it to World War II 
Also in some deleted scenes, there's these red clones that appear with Kiari Mundi instead of the specialized clones. So I wonder if they were originally supposed to be the 21st Nova Corps, but instead we got Jets Battalion. So here's the deleted scenes. Rule number one, don't stand still! Now hold up those bugs while I see General Mundy made the rendezvous! Ham, any word from General Mundy? Not yet, sir. Just static. Destroyers. Destroyers, they're sending destroyers. Found it. General, sorry we couldn't get here sooner. Indeed. We both seem to have suffered heavy casualties. Now, it's near the end of the video. We have one last clone trooper to talk about. You might be saying, where's this clone from? Is it from the Bad Batch? Is it from Rebels? Well, my friend, it isn't a cut clone from either of those series. It's a clone that was in a series that was cut all, all together. And that clone was so powerful that they had to cut this show from existing at all. And that show is Star Wars Detours. Now, in Star Wars Detours, you might not have noticed this, but there's a clone trooper in the background of the trailers. He does a little bit of dancing, and he appears here and there. It's not very noticeable. But his name is Sergeant Basher. Now, not much is known about Sergeant Basher. All we know is he was in the Galactic Republic, and he came along to the transition of the Empire. He serves the Empire, but he does not like the Stormtroopers, and he refers to them as the new guys in disdain. Um, there's not much else known about Sergeant Basher, apart from he wears macros and a rangefinder at the same time, which is a bit funny. Um, Thank you, 24-hour news cycle. Today on Galaxy Rumors, Leia attacks paparazzi. But first, shocking video of a man trapped in a meditation chamber for 41 hours. Decided to make a little animation featuring Basher. Uh, it's a little skit featuring him, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned some new things in this and I promise the Rebel Sag account will be out soon. Just doing the name section is a big, big drag. Uh, it takes a long time. And special thanks to Nick Animations for creating these animations in this video. And special thanks to Red Sun for voicing these animations. Uh, he did the voice of the clones and Yoda. And I'll see you guys in the next one.